So we've started with our bonds, numbers that together make a 10. And we're going to carry on to see how they can be used in bigger numbers. So I hope you copied it all down because now you're going to finish this one for me. So at the top here, I've written the options we have of putting them together. So when we have a 9, we use a 1 to get to 10. An 8 uses a 2. A 7 uses a 3. A 5 and a 5 and a 4 and a 6. So when we have any one of those numbers, we know what the other number has to be. So let's look here. 34 plus 6. So I know here that a 4 and a 6 makes a 10. And the next 10 after 30, because remember this is our 10, our next 10 after 30 is 40. So 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. But we knew that already because 30 with a 4 and a 6 is a 30 plus 10. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have a 7 and a 3. We know that a 3 and a 7 make a 10. So what's our next 10 after 70? 80. So that's how we know this answer would be 80. Okay. Here we're ending on a 10. Alright. It's the next 10 after our 80. So if this is an 8, what plus an 8 makes a 10? Let's find our 8 up here. Ah, here's our 8, all right, an 8, we've got a 10, a 90, 10, 2. So now we know that this one must be 2. I want you to finish those, and we're going to look at some subtraction. A 100, wow, minus 9. So what does that usually leave us on? So now we're minusing, so we need to get to the 10 that comes before 100. What 10 comes before 100? Let's write it down here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So the 10 that comes before 100 is 90. So that's the 10 I'm going to need. And I used a 9. So where is my 9 here? There it is. So I have a 9 in my equation. And I have 10 10s. So what am I missing? The 1. So it's 1, 100 minus 9. What's the 10 before? 90. All right. And I want you to try and see if you can find the pattern to do the rest.